Greetings, traveler from the City of Wizards. It is always good to see someone from your world visit here in Mushu. So you want to see the Emperor Wizard? I have already said too much. No one may see His Imperial Majesty without permission from His Majesty's guard. However, I can save you some time. Go speak to the guard Noburu Akitami by the Jade Palace. If anyone can help you, he can. So Li sent you? Noboru Akitami stares at you for a moment. Very well, esteemed wizard. We are honored that you traveled so far to visit Mushu. You seek his majesty the emperor, but another wizard such as you has already come before using the same beguiling words. Malastare was his name. Since that unfortunate visit, no one may see his imperial majesty. We will make an exception only if you willingly submit to the tests of mind, body, and spirit. I must warn you that no one has ever passed all three tests except for his imperial majesty himself. If you accept, Lo Pang will administer the first test by the rock garden. Greetings. I confess that I'm surprised Noboru Akatami sent you. I have never administered the test of mind to anyone other than a monk. Welcome to the Rock Garden, esteemed wizard. I see you are anxious to pursue your quest. However, there are many evils loose in the spiral, and the one you seek to battle is but one of them. Still, to be as the Muda is to be at peace and pure of mind. I hope that the Rock Garden will lead you to peace as it has for me. Go now, enter and clear your mind. Afterwards, go inside the dojo and see what wisdom you can learn there. Come to me when you are finished with your journey. I will be able to tell if you are truly pure of mind. You study the rocks and the patterns in the sand and see the manifestation of inner peace and strength. Thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. Yes, yes, you have learned much. You are on the path to the Muda. Remember to keep this inner peace within you, always. Return to the Emperor Guard Noboru Akatame with my best wishes. Ah, Lo Peng says that you passed his test. I am now satisfied that you are pure of mind. I expect a wizard can easily pass the test of mind. But what about the test of body? For your second test challenge, Samurai Yochimotoyo to a duel and defeat him with honor. He awaits you by the water dojo. You wish to battle me? I would be honored. I've never faced a wizard. Let us prepare and meet again inside the dojo. Impressive. It was an honor to fight you. You walk like a victor. If you defeated Yochimotoyo, you are indeed a formidable opponent. You must be a powerful wizard to pass the test of body, but your training can't help you pass the final test. One's true spirit cannot be disguised. Many would rather run than face the judgment of the Muda. If you are truly pure of spirit, visit the statue of the Muda at the center of the palace grounds and let your true spirit shine. You stand before the statue of the Muda and it suddenly speaks. Young wizard, you have done much good in your time. The shining spirit of a true hero is evident in you. You have passed the test of spirit. Difficulties approach you, but do not despair. If you keep to clarity of mind, strength of body, and purity of spirit, you will ultimately triumph. You, you pass the test. Most esteemed wizard, you are indeed pure of mind, body, and spirit. Forgive my lack of faith. I only thought of the safety of his benevolent majesty. If 
Find my superior, the Jade Champion within the Emperor's throne room. He will help deliver your message to his Imperial Majesty. You passed the three tests? Noburu Akitame was bored, but wise to administer them to you. You are indeed welcome and needed here. The Jade Champion sighs with sadness as you deliver Ambrose's warning about Malastare. You are too late! The wizard Malastare already petitioned his benevolent majesty for the spiral key to Dragonspire. When his imperial majesty refused, that foul wizard cruelly wounded him and fled through the gate to Dragonspire. I... I could not stop him. Only his imperial majesty can grant you the spiral key. But his wound has made him gravely ill. I trust you to keep this a secret. We do not wish to frighten our people with fear for the Emperor's health. If you wish to use the Dragon Spire Spiral Key, you must restore his benevolent majesty's health. Please speak with Tan King, the High Monk. He can tell you how. Thank you for seeking me out. Whether it is your need for the Dragon Spire Spiral Key, or the Muda's invisible hand that brought you here, I am grateful for your help, Wizard. We have a large task ahead of us. In order to heal his Imperial Majesty, we must restore his mind, body, and spirit. All is not well. While his Imperial Majesty inwardly fights for purity of spirit, the people fight each other on land. Warlord Katsumori has taken his benevolent Majesty's sword and plunged us into war. I've always believed in the tie between the Emperor and the land, but never witnessed it until now. If we cure his Imperial Majesty's spirit, we may well end the war. Will you help us? The spirit of a samurai resides in his sword, so we must recover his Imperial Majesty's sword from Warlord Katsumori. Samurai Shojiro Gama at Hamatsu Village can tell you more. <laughs> 